Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Trang Lake. We are back in the Grave of Saints where we defeated a rat who actually was a human NPC. And then we kind of chickened out of this whole place, but also the end of the episode was approaching. So yeah, we were back to the bonfire, but in today's episode we're going to keep going on the grind within the Grave of Saints and we'll see... Do I still have the fucking fall ring on? No, I don't. Hey, I was actually smart enough to remove that. Hey, hey, hey. See, we're already improving. This is good. A fragrant branch, which we are going to probably use to get to the shaded woods, which is a better area than this. Uh, but still. Thank fuck there's a ladder here, because getting to that item or trying to get to that item is normally mad annoying. Uh, in fact, I don't even tend... Oh, shit. Okay. But then how do you... Fuck. Okay. Never mind. Uh, you must have, like, you must have to, like, drop down from above. Or whatever. It's not that important. It might be an upgrade stone or something. I don't know. general rule of thumb if i really can't recall what an item is it's probably not that important anyways uh still though like i said the fragrant branch is going to be way more useful because yeah shaded woods grind that part of the game out you really seriously can't fuck i'm assuming you, yeah you can't jump either yeah, but you probably have to jump from there and then land. That's like... Which I think is something that might be possible. Because of this staircase. Just try getting back up there. Yeah, it is possible, but... You have to go all the way back through the Grave of Saints. This is the other end of that. Like, ladder. Okay, never mind. Still, I do appreciate not having to take mandatory fall damage in some of these circumstances. Mandatory fall damage really is something that should be, like, illegal. Uh, what the hell is up with this guy? Do you see how slow he is? Strange. Must be he's stuck in the water or some shit. I swear to you, one of these days, there's going to be... A chest that's a mimic. Like, that's a normal chest in the vanilla game and the mimic here and I'm going to be furious. It's probably going to be the one I won't check. Uh, knowing my luck, if I ever skip checking a chest, that is 100% gonna be the one mimic in the game uh, to fuck with me. Oh shit, yeah. That fall for some reason always deals a lot of damage. Probably because it's a big fall. You know, the thing is, I've explained this in the video I uploaded yesterday where I went over my YouTube analytics, but yeah, sorry, it's just the... I've been a bit busy recently. That's why I haven't been uploading as frequently as I wanted to. Um, just, you know how life is. You know, I started work at a new place in November and sort of like the training period is over. But I'm still a noob, so... You know, some things that took me like five minutes to knock out my old place take a little bit longer just because I'm not as familiar with everything. This is just how it is, you know. But... Oh, nice. Nice. There's no bullshit with the falling floor. Shout out to you, game. Or mod. I do like that. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to Majula. So yeah, that was one of the things. And just, you know, January, that's taking up quite a bit of time. Which, Mr. Underscore Sketchhead on Instagram. Follow me if you wanna... Stay up to date on January. I'm gonna stop plugging that 
although plugging is what it's all about. So, we need strength, but we're also pretty far away from our weapon, so I think I'll be able to get to 35 by the, by the time I get York's spear. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay, let's buy some life gems, always good, and let's head on back. Okay, now we can light the torch. One of the few places in this game where the torch mechanic is actually used pretty well. I do have kind of an OCD obsession with lighting all of these little like lanterns or whatever torches. Oh shit. Whoa! It's a germ or whatever these guys are called. It's a gavlan, I should say. They're called Gurm, right? It's not, okay, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I'm in the gutter. Okay, fit, I'm guessing. Or I'm gonna say. Uh, one of the things is... Um, this area in particular... Really lacks like a unique enemy. Uh, you just have like these shitty ass hollows in there. <laughs> Look at that. Holy hell. They like really don't like the torch, do they? They straight like fucked off out of here. I'm coming for you bitches. You can't escape the light. Can I push them? I can't push them off with that, can I? And these things are weird looking. Don't really ever get to take a good look at them. So yeah, like... Makes sense putting something here because, like I said... One thing I've always sort of found is that this place really lacks... An enemy, honestly. That's like, unique to this place. It's just not just a bunch of hollows. This is one of those weird things, you know, this game does have a habit of having these types of areas which are just kind of, not throw away, because they clearly put effort into this place, but you just kind of tend to rush through, I mean, it doesn't even have like a boss or anything, you just kind of tend to run through. What the hell was that? Was that a hollow? What the hell? Oh yeah, it's just a hollow. Okay. I thought it was something else. Actually, what the hell is over here? Oh, is that one of those? Yeah, it is. It's one of those things like you have in the Black Gulch. Where those things pop out of. Wow, you're an idiot. I'm an idiot too, because I'm standing in it as well. Fuck! Okay, well at least it didn't kill me. Interesting, is this... Does this exist in the main game as well? I honestly probably have never even been to this little cliff here. What the hell? I don't know about any of this shit. <laughs> yeah, this is probably here, it's just I've never bothered to actually this is where the Heineken box used to be, right? I think this is it. The fucking Heineken box. Man. How the hell did that even go through? I mean, it's probably something like uh, nobody... Like, you can't check every square inch of this game. But yeah, Heineken is confirmed to exist in the Souls universe. How's that for... 
how is that for a Vati theory for you? Um, damn hollows like that Heineken, don't they? You can't make that jump, can you? Okay, let me try and find my way back to an actual like semblance of a path. Oh fuck. And then we can we can get going. I do not have a lot of shit that cures poison. So I do need to be careful. Apparently my poison resist is like not worth a rat's ass either. Because I get poisoned mad quickly. <laughs> what the? Man, I never notice a lot of these like little details here. Could be because I always, you know, I play on the big TV. Here on the PC, you can. Oh, come on. You want a ladder PvP? I'm gonna cheat. You know, ladder PvPing while I'm here. For a second, but I don't think mimics exist in this variety in this game. Okay. I think we just need to go up here. And we should be pretty much back. Yep. Cool, another germ. Man, they are taking a lot of damage. This katana man is pretty insane might as well have a look god I hate this enemy this is one of those classic like Dark Souls 2 things where the enemy has a hitbox before it even starts the animation to attack Happens quite a few times in this game. The what you call it? Hi oh shit. Hide knights are another like infamous example. With that like running attack, it just has a hitbox out of nowhere. Oh shit, okay. Oh well, this is cool. I'll take this path to the bonfire, don't worry. I appreciate it. Unless... No, 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 you can. Go through bon uh, fog gates a lot backwards in this mod. That's what I've noticed. Hey there, boys. And you know, I'm not gonna go around lighting every single one of these torches, but... What the fuck are you doing? Get fucking Uchigatanad. So yeah, I'm not gonna do all of these, but I'm gonna do as many as I possibly can. Which are like within... Are you fucking kidding? How stupid am I? <laughs> this is... I can't navigate like edges, can I? Damn. That was a very, very elegant move. Fuck, I got to the bonfire before. <sighs> okay. You should have got... This is why you get a torch. Because you can't see where you're going. Okay, so I've lost my souls, which is... Well, it was 6k, so not the end of the world, but I think what we're going to do is we're just going to move down here and forget any of the past, I don't know, minute and a half happened. And then we can just move on. What up? Look at that. these guys like coming down the stairs. They all want that ladder PvP. I know how it is. 
I'm partial to some ladder PvP. What the fuck was that? Are you f What is up with this little patch of area? Like, I keep dying here like an idiot. Shit. Okay, so that dude is just gonna go ahead and detonate, which we're gonna try and prevent. It's a little bit more stressful than I wanted it to be. Still. I'd say there's now like an abundance of ladders here, so... We're good. Just need to pick up the life gems. Kill this dude. And then it's fucking gulch time. Are you still alive? Okay. Fair point. Should have watched Soul Counter. Should have watched for the death animation too. Now that I think about it. And then... where the fuck is the exit? Serious. Oh, there it is. I hate this place. It's okay, though. we can hang a right for the bonfire. I could I could have done that smarter, but... I think the area of effect for this thing is pretty wide. Uh, luck. I don't think anything is broken, just at risk, so... We're just gonna try and... Correct that. No, something is broken. But what the fuck? It is broken, not at risk. Fuck. Okay, just get something else. It's not gonna do anything to my rolling, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, Black Gulch. See, I'm just thinking whether it would be worth... Uh, no, it's definitely worth turning into human form because there's actually some good NPCs here. Lucatil should show up. This is a part of her quest line as well. But I'm pretty much gonna ignore all these enemies here, I think. Kind of my poison resist is absolutely god awful. There it is. Cool. There she is. Okay. For a second, I thought I screwed something up. This is the last sort of like little milestone here. Yeah, about that. Okay, look, they don't get all emo on me. But this game, this game does get uh, slightly philosophical sometimes. I think with the scholar of the first sin update and especially Aldia, this game has some of the best dialogue. Best written dialogue. Oh yeah, hey there. Best written dialogue in the series, for sure. Hell are oh shit. Kidding me? Uh, 
Oh, you really turned this place into a dickish area, didn't you? God damn it. I don't want to be trapped by the... The petrified statue. Come on. You know which one I'm talking about. The one in front of the bonfire, who I've just realized is... Like, might pose a problem because I have one fragrant branch, which I wanted for the shaded woods. Oh shit. And fuck you, I have no poise. Okay, you're an idiot. <sighs> Stressful. Yeah, shit, 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 shit. And I do only have one. I mean, it's only the rotten... But the bigger issue is that... God, where is Lucatil's summon? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I think her summon is inside that thing. That little area. There is no other way to get there. I think. I mean, well, the other thing I could do is just sort of save up uh, enough souls to buy the fragrant branch from what's her name. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We have a lot of boss souls anyways. I don't need a lot of them. Because Lucatil's summon sign is definitely in here, and yeah, this is her, right? It's not. This is her. It is. Anyways, we're gonna have the invader here anyways. The second one. Once we rest up. Or there's gonna be no invader. Yeah, there is. Nice fat roll there, boy. Shit. Since they're using the... The giant's weapon, right? Fuck, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. I got greedy. God, the stun lock. I feel like if they invaded together, they'd actually be a challenge. More of a challenge. These statues definitely be spitting less, though. Just to balance things out a bit. I Luke Teal. I want to summon Alva the Wayfarer as well. This is an easy boss too. I think he's weak to fire, right? Which I think I should have. I don't have charcoal pine resin. I have aromatic ooze. I'll use it. Why not? Come on, Luke Teal. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Fine. Cause she just absolutely takes zero damage in this mod. I don't know if they like beefed her up or something. But this is insane how powerful she seems. I can pretty sure she got hit there and just didn't even flinch. Look at those buff. 
knowing her she's gonna like walk into the fire and kill herself or something What a weird boss this is. Whoa! Whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit. Well, we. Thank fuck we got Luke deal up in here. Are you kidding me? Hey Luke deal, I have an idea. You distract him and I'm gonna beat his ass. That is absolutely ridiculous, the speed on that. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. This is why she needs to be buffed, doesn't she? What the hell was that? I know he's weak to... Piercing. Kill him. Yeah, get that over with as quickly as we can. Holy fuck. That might actually have been insanely annoying if I didn't summon Luke deal. Man, there is speeding up a boss and then there is speeding up a boss. Yeah, still. Got him first try. Just checking. You know how it is. Unless, do you contain... No, you don't contain a fragrant branch. That would be so convenient, wouldn't it? Uh, we don't have all the air yet, right? No, we don't. Cool. Let's go on ahead and head on back. Before I forget, let's burn the sublime bone dust, uh, since I actually remembered to do it. Alright. Cool. Allow me to just level up. Uh, let's see. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Cool. And then if we pop one of the boss souls, like Old Iron Kings is definitely not gonna be needed for anything. Uh, we should be able to pick up the Fragrant Branch. Actually, you know, I went to the gutter sort of by mistake, but it's a good thing I got it out of the way. It's just an annoying place. Get a bright buck too, why not? And now let's see. Yeah, let's let's get going. Should be able to clear out the shaded woods fairly easily. And you know what I always forget? I always forget to go and look at some like Ishing gear I could be using. Actually, holy shit, look at the time. Um, I have some stuff to cut out, but not a lot. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do here, as we approach Banart of Hugo, or Jugo, or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tales of Drang Lake. If you did, unbelievable. I feel cheated there. If you did, make sure to give it a like. 
comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And as always, I will see all of you next time as I murder these stupid ass enemies. Yeah, take care and peace out.